Good evening, Erica. You saw tonight during that special right here on RTV6, Bloomington's police chief refusing to answer Brian Ross's questions about the Spear case. It was one of the key topics of conversation when I spoke with both Ross and Brad Garrett. Your perspective on the job that you think Bloomington police did. Well, I can tell you from the perspective of uh, Lauren's parents, uh, Rob and Charlene Spear, they feel that the Bloomington police have shut them out. They have not shared any information with them. They've been very disturbed about that. That's why they went ahead and hired private detectives in the first place. They also question why the Bloomington police have refused to release all of the surveillance videos they have of Lauren on that fateful night. That's not how it happens in most places. It's very difficult to assess law enforcement in this case because they don't tend to talk publicly about what they're doing. I've gotten very little, I've gotten actually no feedback or information from the Bloomington police, which presumably would be the lead agency. So what they've done, not done, I don't really know. I will say it's, it is a bit odd, uh, uh, the lack of communication with the public, because the public is what helps you solve a case. It's worked for me for 30 years. The more you can put out to the public, the more you're going to get back. Bloomington police have refused to comment about the case to all media, but did issue a statement last month ahead of the five-year anniversary of her disappearance. The statement defending their investigation, saying the department has dedicated an extraordinary amount of resources to it. As for not releasing more information, they say the Bloomington Police Department made a conscious decision to be judicious in what was shared with the public through the media as the investigation progressed. The objective of the department was to focus energy and resources on the investigation itself rather than the distractions and misinformation that can be generated or result from overexposure through the media. The department also tells us Lauren's disappearance has never been considered or labeled a cold case.